Hey booktube, Chelsea the Reading Outlaw here to do a review of The Girl Who Soared Over Fairyland and Cut the Moon in Two by Catherine M. Valente. This is the third volume in the Fairyland series and it is the last of the currently published three that deal with September because number four actually deals with a different character. So uh, in case you're not familiar, the first two um, Fairyland books are about a young girl named September. I believe she's 11 the first time she goes into Fairyland, which would make her 13 by the time she's revisiting in this third volume. And September is a little girl who ventures into Fairyland and meets a number of interesting characters. She makes two very good friends, A through L, a Wyvery, who is a Wyvern who works in a library. And so that's where that came from. And then Saturday, who is a Marid, who is kind of this... Um, spirit like sea human creature who lives kind of throughout time so he at several points in several of the stories meets different versions of himself and in this third volume I don't want to say too much because I don't want to spoil anything but September is back in fairyland this time she is back with her friends um, and they're having an adventure on the moon the moon of fairyland and so in the course of that she again meets even more interesting people um, has even more interesting adventures and learns some really important lessons about what it means to be a girl growing up. Um, so without spoiling too much, I will say that I think my favorite bits of this particular volume were the fact that we are actually back with the proper friends um, that September has. In the second book, The Girl Who Fell Beneath Fairyland and Led the Revels There, we are actually with everybody's shadow because in that book September goes underneath Fairyland. She goes to Fairyland beneath um, to find out where all the magic in Fairyland is going because the magic in Fairyland is being stolen. And underneath Fairyland we actually don't meet any of the humans necessarily or any of the people. We meet their shadows because that's where shadows go. And so, you know, and of course, as our shadows, they're, the shadows of the people are not the people themselves. So they act differently. They behave differently um, in general and towards September. And so this is the first one since the first one. We're actually back with the proper characters in and of themselves. Here's A through L up top, the Wyberry. As you can see, he's an adorable red wyvern. And so we just, we finally are back with them. And of course they have all grown and changed accordingly. Time does not pass the same in Fairyland than it does for September. So we always have to play a little bit of catch up when we first meet back up with everybody. Um, and I think that um, one of the things that sticks out to me the most is this kind of growing relationship between September and Saturday, the Marid. Um, and as the two of them grow up, they kind of continue to explore this relationship that with, they have with each other. Uh, it started out as friendship and maybe now is getting to be something that's a little bit more than friendship, a little bit more down the grown-up path, which is all a part of some of the lessons September is learning as she is growing up into a young woman. Um, I just think that Catherine Valente has such an absolutely amazing writing style. These books are, for me, I consider these books to be um, kind of like a Phantom Tollbooth 2.0. Um, we get this incredibly intelligent and plucky young girl who courageously wants to have all of these adventures with all of these interesting people that she meets. And everywhere she goes, she's always meeting um, different people. There is a scene in the in this one, in The Girl Who Soared Over Fairyland, where there is a paper circus. And that is probably one of my favorite parts because the paper circus is made up of, as it would sound like, paper, but all different kinds of paper. So storybook paper, notebook paper, newspaper, the paper that you scratch on to make your pen work, um, love letters, goodbye notes, all of those volumes of the written word that we see. There's an entire circus within here. Um, Valentine and Pentameter there are and that's and that's the other thing is that it's so intelligently written like I can't as a child I just would have been absolutely swept up in the imagination and the the world building that Valente does but as an adult there are so many good puns and literary references and wordplay that works on so many levels that it really is kind of a joy and a puzzle to read through it all and kind of figure out and suss out exactly what's happening there is definitely there are some portions of the book that I felt dragged just a little um, some bits that I didn't like quite as much as others but that tends to be pretty far for the 
pretty par for the course for what I'm finding for Cat Valente books for me. But on the whole, it was definitely, it's a five-star read. This is back to being, this is probably one of my favorite books in the series, this one and the first one. The second one's okay, and I'm working on the fourth one now. But yes, if you are ever looking for a wonderful, feel-good, nostalgic romp back to the kinds of things you loved about books, when you were a child. I could not more highly recommend the Fairyland books. This is the third one, The Girl Who Soared Over Fairyland and Cut the Moon in Two. If you've read it, please let me know down below what you thought. As always, you can like, subscribe, and I will see you around the internet. Bye, guys.